Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, mwah. thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. Yes, I'm holding this microphone today because the normal microphone I used to use, which is my Blue Yeti, I used to connect it to my iPhone and my iPhone fell into water two days ago. So here I am. Anyway, that's besides the point. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the books I read in July. Oh my god, July was like a month that didn't want to end. We entered this week and I was like, oh, it's gonna be August. And then it's still July before it's going to be August. So I read quite a lot of physical books this month and I'm so excited. These are the physical books I read. That's one, two, seven, eight. And I think I read two or three books on my Kindle. So let's get straight into the yapping about it. Did I just say yapping? I mean, talking about them. So the first book I read was Love to Load You by Ali Hazelwood. And it's not memorable at all because when I was reading it, I was in the moment, I was enjoying the story. But after I finished, I and besides some stories were almost the same so I, I can't really say much about this i just gave it three stars because it wasn't enough information about the characters and oh and it was very spicy too the next book i read is the traveling cat chronicles i read this while i was on a trip and guys it was ah oh, so it's about this cat nana he's a stray cat so this man satoru took him in and started taking care of him and then one day satoru decided that he wanted to give the cat to someone else after years of being together because of some issues we were not told what the issue was in the beginning but later in the story you find out why so um we are getting the cat's pov and we're getting the narrator's pov and it's actually very sweet story and fast to read so we see how satoru takes nana to different friends and we see why he cannot drop the cat with them and we also see what their relationship was before that moment like how they were friends or how they became friends and basically the whole lifetime so i really enjoyed this book because it was very emotional honestly guys i cried i cried at the end because it got so oh anyway i gave it infinity stars this is one of my favorite book i'll always always talk about it N not just because of the friendship the relationship also because of the cat's pov because the cat was very stubborn and funny and yeah and yeah you just feel the connection between him and the cat it's it's really really yeah honestly oh, oh my god i love this book so much i don't know what else to say <sighs> the next book i read is when we were fireflies by abubakar adam ibrahim this book talks about a man named yari malalo he's an artist like he paints so one day he went to a train station and as he had the sound of the train at a particular time 2 14 i don't know whether it's am or pm i can't remember but at that time the thing triggered a memory and then he starts to realize that he has come to this life before and every single time he has died and we start to go on a journey with him and there's also a girl named um alima she's a an artist and the two of them go together to discover why he was being killed why he was being killed so many times in his past lives and we see him having this flashback so this lady also has her own problem that she's going through she has some things with the family and a child and all i really like this book because of the way the colors have been described the writing is beautiful and the culture in it it talks about the northern part of nigeria my country <laughs> and my mom is from the north so we see some Hausa languages in it and it's actually really really sweet and easy to read i body read this with my friends uh Ori and kenny i gave this a five stars it was so good it was so good i think i talked about it in my uh, media wrap up because i was just so surprised by how good it was as a part i would like to read to get to you guys how can just wanting to love draw so much hate, so much violence then he replies and says perhaps because all violence is born out of love one way or the other when people kill in the name of god or some religion or for some tribe or country as they have done here and in just and maiduguri jerusalem kabul saru jevo and everywhere else they do so because they love something or someone or crave the love of something or someone god some politician or some idea or they are envious of the love of something or someone 
or maybe because they are just in love with the idea of themselves exercising power sometimes they just do it because of the idea of love they have for a country or a place or a people or a person sometimes they love so something so much it makes them hate something else enough to want to kill it other times they are offended by the love someone or something has for another thing or another person other times they are just actually afraid that is deep five stars the middle daughter by chica unigwe this is my first time reading from this author um i body read this with my friend ore <sighs> I gave this a two stars. <laughs> it talks about this girl, Nani, and she lost her father and her sister. She grieved them, and after grieving them, she started making so many poor choices in life. So we just go along with her. Honestly, my favorite thing about this book is the senior sister's POV. Although she died, but we still kind of see her POV like from heaven or something. That's the only thing I like about this because this book really pissed me the fuck off. Like, she was making so many stupid choices like fine okay the first the first thing happened and i wouldn't fault her for that but then again there are so many reasons why that shouldn't have happened in the first place if she really is a oh my god i had a lot of argument about this if you guys want me to talk about this book alone i would come and talk about it but i was actually angry and frustrated my friend said maybe i don't understand how grief can make people stupid but i'm like this is not about grief making you stupid this is about you being stupid by yourself that is how i feel like she made a mistake she got mm, and then after that moment she could not now make good choices after so she made poor choices for seven years and then even i feel like even after that seven years if as auntie had not said anything she would still be in the position where she was and that really pissed me off it really pissed me off i feel like the the character was just stupid she was daft that's how i feel God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. The next book I read is The Great Alone by Christian Anna. I body read this with my friend, Promise. And okay, so this talks about the Albright's family. There's Cora, there's Ernst, and then there's Lenny. So Ernst went to war and when he came back, he, you know, the war affected him. He became disoriented. He became a little bit mental and uh crazy basically and cora his wife is a very loving woman she supports him to the end of the earth they have their own history because of the mental state of Ernst, they had to move several times so lenny does not really have any friends so one day they moved to alaska and alaska is one of the craziest places i've ever read about because in this book the way alaska was described gosh i don't want to go to alaska so alaska is dark in the winter it is very very severe in the summer it's also crazy but basically you have to survive and you have to learn how to hunt and so many things so this book talks about their life in alaska things that were happening and Ernst was quite dangerous basically it was very dangerous so um i think i would have enjoyed it more if the women were strong you know like very strong will but i understand in in the 1970s yeah in the 1970s i understand that women didn't have rights women were disregarded or were actually you, you could not even get a driver's license in those times so basically i understand that women don't have much power but I, f I, f I wished i just wished that there was more you know female strength in this book oh <sighs> so another reason why i like this book was because of how the whole thing was described it felt like i was playing a movie in my head it was kind of very realistic and when it's winter i felt i felt it i could see the snow in my brain but you know you understand so um i didn't give it a five stars because the story went in another direction then it became about another thing along the line and at one point i was tired of reading but it was very captivating i don't know how to express that i gave it a four stars my friend also gave it a four stars and she was really angry with some parts but but it's okay i, I think you should read it honestly this is my first christianana book and as i'm impressed <laughs> the right move i list out for this is the second book in the i think it's the windy okay windy city series this is the book two this is most people's favorite but i gave it a four stars it's about ryan and indy 
Oh my god. So Indy is Stevie's friend and she needed a place to stay because she in, in the book one you see that she got her boyfriend, a six years long boyfriend with another woman in their bed. And she needed a place to stay. So Stevie was like, Okay, I will let you stay with my brother. I'll talk to my brother and so yes. And Ryan is this stock up not stock up, I'm not gonna say stock up, he's really really determined focused guy introverted doesn't go out and he cares so much about his reputation he doesn't want to do anything to damage his reputation but indy is this sunshine she likes to be around people she's a people person and i really like her personality so we just go along with them i really enjoyed it but i have to say that there was quite a lot of repetition like oh my god it, i just wanted to end yeah there were so many cute things around indeed oh my god oh my god so it's not like i ate the book i didn't mm -hmm. it's fact it's one of my favorite but i still prefer my eye okay i still prefer my eye and seeing stevie and Zanders in this book <laughs> oh my god okay so the book is not about stevie and Zanders. the book is about ryan and indy do you understand yeah yeah so it was actually nice seeing their personalities change and um friendship oh the true meaning of friendship when someone understands you and is not with you just because they want something from you but is with you because they want you that kind of vibe yes the next book i read is the god of good looks by brian mike ivor i went into this book blind i but read this with my friend or but i, I don't know our own opinions yet because she she's yet to finish it as, as at now that i'm recording so i gave this a 4.5 stars i was surprised so it talks about this girl her name is bianca and then the guy o obadiah we call him oc he calls himself the god of good looks because he's a makeup artist and not just a makeup artist he has a company that is running and he has this kind of personality that is like you know strong and yeah bianca actually had a scandal with the minister it she, she it's it's a whole story on its own so bianca's father is very rich but she doesn't really have any relationship with her father obadiah is this kind of person that believes that all these rich people they look down on us oh this book is actually set in trinidad so it was nice in their culture and to be quite honest most of the things that were mentioned here apply to all over the world so i at one point i stopped imagining trinidad and i was imagining anywhere because it's yeah so in this book we see bianca as a model but because of the scandal she finds it very very difficult to navigate life in dark fashion community without being disrespected or disregarded then obadiah gives her an opportunity to work as a as a content editor and she it's always been a dream to be a writer so she took the opportunity and yeah i love the fact that this book incorporates beauty incorporates tips and tricks honestly when they were in the beauty part you see some tricks on how to do a nice makeup look or day in makeup look it was so nice it also talks about friendship and relationship brother sisters friendship relationship it talks about manipulation because uh there are some things which is happening all over the world basically and also corruption and poverty it touches lightly on all these things i really really enjoyed it i would have given it a five star but i just felt like that ending was too easy in my own opinion it was kind of i felt like there should have been like a form of resistance but that would have made the book too long so it's still very very nice honestly i really really enjoyed reading it i love bianca's pov because her pov is written like a journal so i felt like i was reading you know somebody's diary and i was like oh my god so it was very fast paced but but has POV, the first POV, the first Obi Obadiah's first POV in this book pissed me off because of how it was just judgmental and but then there was character development and yeah, I really really enjoyed this. I think you should read it. I gave it a 4.5 stars. I think I already said that. Yes. So I read Restore Me by Tehera Mafi. We all know what this Shadami series is about, you know, Juliet and her she, I thought she's lethal and she thought she would die, that kind of thing. She has actually progressed. In book three, which is Ignite Me, I saw how her powers bloomed and I saw how she became somebody else. It was like she became better. And I was so happy. I was so excited because I wanted to get into this one to see what she's going to do, you know. And then here, she's full of doubt. Here, she's acting like she doesn't even know what she's doing anymore. I understand because of the position she has taken but she wasn't supposed to be so 
easily downcast that i don't know how to explain it but all the same another thing is i felt like the miscommunication or lack of communication in this book was so annoying because she and warner should have just talked about this yes i know their relationship is like new but i felt like they had enough time to discuss things that were important aaron should have just told her okay this is this is what he thinks and then she also after everything i felt like she should have been more understanding because he's anyway i don't want to spoil it i gave it a 3.5 stars because i expected more and i didn't get it then the novella after that which is shadow me guys shadow me was everything i wanted it was in Kenji's POV, and if you guys already know, I've already been talking about Kenji. Oh my god, Kenji, Kenji, I love him. He's so funny. He's hilarious. He cares about people. He cares about everybody. If you are sad, he'll be like, okay, what's wrong with you? Cheer up, and that kind of vibe. And here, he was trying to get in <laughs> to become friends with Aaron. Well, <laughs> it turned out horrible. But anyway, so here we see Kenji's POV. It kind of correlates with this, but like it's the same story here, but. Kenji's POV towards the end and it was crazy. Oh, oh guys, I forgot to mention the end here was also unexpected. It was like, whoa. But when you now read Kenji's POV, the end took another turn and it was like, whoa, I gave this a 4.5 stars. Love and Other Word by Christina and Lauren. Oh my God. Nobody told me. Someone should have told me because I. I've, I've been pushing off this book. I've been pushing off that, okay, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. I didn't want to pick it up soon. I, I felt like everybody loved it. And since I, I am a fan of the cover, I love the cover so much. It's so cozy. I was like, if I read it and I don't like it and I'll have to part ways with this book, I'll be so sad. But guys, this is five stars. So it talks about Macy and Elliot. Macy lost her mom. And when her mom died, her uh, mom gave her father like list of things to do for her when she turns 16 do this when she starts her period do this take her when she's tired take her to a village um like a vacation home so that vacation home when she got there she met elliot in the closet of that vacation home and she was like who are you and it was like uh who are you and somehow somehow they, they grew up together like they became friends and they were always talking about what they were always reading together because our father made that closet a library and Elliot loves to read and they're always talking about their favorite word and all but one thing why I like this is their relationship was not this fast paced this they know we go back and forth their future their past because now they're out of touch for 11 years and then we get to see why it's second chance romance I'll say second chance because they were in a relationship then we see why they broke up honestly i felt like if i found out that the reason for them breaking up was not reason enough to be out of touch for 11 years i would have been so pissed but when i got to that part guys i cried i cried i was like i didn't see this coming and it was so painful and seeing elliot's love for her and the old misunderstanding there was no even miscommunication Okay, yes, there was a little bit of miscommunication, but it was not so crazy. But this book was, this is one of my favorite books ever. I really, really want to even read it again because I felt comforted. Reading this book was like, you are reading in the cold, but you are in a warm bed and you are blanketed up. And, you know, that kind of vibe, that was the vibe I got from this. It was really nice, honestly. Five stars. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, the next book I read is A Cause of Breath and Blood. This is by KW poster it's an arc that um i got from net i downloaded this book or i asked for the arc of this book because my friend was like she just started reading it and she was so happy and she was like oh my god i love this this is what i've been looking for in a fantasy book and i was like okay let me show her that i can read fantasy so i went to go and get it and guys i will not say i was disappointed but i was not really happy first of all the world building was not really done well uh, because it felt like I was just jumping in, like we are here now, and then the next thing I blink, we're in another place, and I'm like, what is happening? I didn't understand the world very well. Another thing is, I thought the male female character was going to be very very powerful and all powerful and all that, because of the first chapter, like the way she appeared. She's a telepath. She can enter into your mind. She can erase your memory and or plant a memory for you and stuff like that. So i expected more but basically it was not like that another reason why i was pissed off is because the male main character i was rooting for turned out not to be the love interest and i'm like so wait i've been open and trying to see how they're going to get together because there was a misunderstanding like second chance romance kind of vibe but here i am now 
with another guy and then i'm like uh, another thing she kept on falling in love with anybody everybody and anybody okay so what happened is she's a princess of this court court of storms i think and then she was betrothed to gideon and gideon is a wicked king so gideon used that to, she was now referred to as the treacherous queen so she ran away for years and she has been in hiding so Caden needed her help to save her sister so she needs to get her sister back anyway it went nice the book was fast kind of fast but it took me a month to read so not fast because i was confused and there was too many names in it but i feel like a lot of people would like it because it has nice ratings on goodreads that's one two the ending was intense i was so shocked but then the epilogue was like what the fuck is happening again you know anyway that's my own yabba yabba i hope you guys enjoyed this video please tell me which ones you read that is your favorite and i'm so happy i got to read christiana lawrence um love another words i'm so happy like i would always be happy that i read this book honestly i really really like it yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video please don't forget to subscribe and kisses <laughs> let me take a thumbnail before i forget different of his oh my god different of his what's the name of this series Seth? i'm so happy <laughs> i liked it a lot so she met uh elliot in the vacation oh in relationship uh, i need to check the name of the last book because i've forgotten already